Hey guys, it's Jodie and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a unboxing video, the iPhone 11. So I do one of these about every two years when I swap over my new phone. So I've had my 8 Plus for just two years exactly now um, and it's done me really well. To be honest, there's nothing wrong with this phone whatsoever and uh, it's probably the first Apple phone that I have needed to return to Apple for like either battery or Wi-Fi or some sort of problem. So I reckon either I looked after it or Apple has upped their game. So now it's time for a bit of a change to the iPhone 11. I still have all the packaging because I wanted to save it and unbox it here with you. So I did get this as a little Christmas present. So super, super grateful. Hashtag blessed. Going to unbox this with you and transfer all my phone contacts and everything from this one to this one. So I tried to sync it to my laptop, but unfortunately my laptop doesn't have enough space. I didn't get the Pro because it was a present and I didn't want to spend too much money and I'm just so grateful already to even get a new phone. So I'm not complaining whatsoever. I got the 128 gigabyte one. I picked it in the white color because that is my favorite color. And to be honest, the iPhone 11 is more than sufficient. The two cameras I reckon does an amazing job and pretty much all I really need is that new camera function and a little bit more storage space because I have 64 gig now and I do struggle quite a bit with spacing. So as well as my laptop as you can see because I couldn't even back up a phone that's how less memory I have. So before I get into it uh, the iPhone retails for $1,279 here in Australia for this exact model 11 at 128 gigs and we got it from Costco, have my receipt here. Costco was $1,229.99. So we saved about $50. So let's get straight into the unboxing. So there's a little green tab just at the front over here. Let's come straight off. And oh, I love, I love feeling that is so super smooth. And I gotta be careful because last time I did this, I just flipped this up and everyone freaked out and thought I was about to drop the phone. And to be honest, I thought I was gonna drop the phone too. Oh, now that I think about it, I haven't bought a case or a screen protector. Oh, better have to be more careful then. I'm gonna hold it so none of you freak out. I've got my finger on there. There it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited. All right. Let me take this out, hopefully. Ooh. Oh, wow. So my previous eight plus back is kind of like clear or gray. It's kind of like gray color. And then the sides are silver. This is my eight plus. And the front obviously is the white, but with the 11 fully black screen, the sides are almost same color, silverish and obviously the back is white and this one's a bit more like a gray almost but this is like opaque white sizing for your comparison a little bit this is 8 plus and this is 11 not the plus version and they're almost the same size so i'm pretty happy with that and considering the screen is actually a bit bigger for the 11 so i feel like it's going to be pretty useful so you've got your instruction and i think do they still do stickers? These apples? Oh, they do. Infamous apple stickers. And then you've got the charger. And you've got the cord, the lightning cord for the charger. Pair of earbuds. But they've got a lightning cable. So now you don't need an adapter. Start. By turning it on, shall we? Pressing the side home button. Ah, oh, there we go. So I was like, this is frozen. I've got to be more patient, as you all tell me. I'm just waiting for that to load. There we go. Hello. Let's see if it changes again. Someone did teach me how to say. Say so they said this is not hola, but it's hola. Hola. Look at that. So I, I think I'm improving. Every, every second year, I'm improving because you guys are teaching me, so bonjour. All right, let's just um, move on and, oh man, there's no chance I will be able to read that. I don't even know what language that is. Ooh, so I just swiped up and let's see. So I'm gonna select English, your country, 
Australia, obviously. At this point, I'm going to change the angle because it's very hard for me to see what the phone is telling me to do and show you on camera at the same time. So I'm just going to switch the angle and we'll go from there. Well, it's a bit weird how that's flashing here, but just by me looking at this now, there's no light whatsoever. So like, to me, it looks the same as this. There's nothing flashing. But if I put it on camera, I can see some possessed light that you guys all could see last time as well. Just only just noticed. Must be a camera thing. So I'm just gonna swipe up and it just says, quick start, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. All right, so I've got my current one. Ooh, all righty, this is the cool part that I was talking about last time. I believe that worked. Let's have a look. And your passcode of your other phone. I do apologize for this really annoying flashing light here for you guys. Might take a few minutes. All right, okay, so data and privacy. All right, don't really have a choice. I must continue and I will not spaz it again because I can see that it's working. Alrighty, so I'm at step where I am setting up my face ID. I had to swap you around again just so you can see me doing it. I'm just gonna press get started. Um, it says position your face, move your head slowly. Maybe I should move my hair. Oh, it says first ID scan complete. And then I reckon I need to do this one more time. Second scan complete. And Face ID is now set up. So ah, this is the first time I'm ever going to be using Face ID. So I'm super excited. I hope it works because I normally wear glasses and I'm not wearing glasses now. But I'm pretty sure Apple has their shit together and they know what they're doing. So now they're just setting up on my Apple ID. Now it's asking me to enter my Apple ID password. So I'm just going to do that. Setting up my Apple ID. We're up to apps and data. So I've got options to restore from iCloud backup or Mac or PC, transfer directly from phone, move data from Android or don't transfer at all. I really wanted to back up my A plus on my laptop but unfortunately because of the space problem I don't have that option anymore and iCloud I also don't have enough storage space. As you can see storage is a big problem for me. So I'm just going to transfer directly from iPhone, which is what I've collect. I'm just loading here. Last time I kept thinking it was frozen and people complaining how impatient I was, not knowing there was a little um, spinning thing up there. But now that I know, I'm gonna leave it alone. And it, on my other phone, it just says finish on iPhone and I can set up the rest on this one. So I'm just gonna click okay. So I think that's done. Oh, it's brought me back to this same page which is what I thought I've already done. I'm a little bit confused, Apple. Should be a lot smoother and easier than this. It's telling me the same thing. I'm literally going in circles. All right, guys, so I've tried it six times and it still has not worked. It just keeps bringing me back to this exact same page. So you know what? I'm sick and tired of this and I'm just gonna press don't transfer the apps and data because I really can't, I can't do it. I literally don't know how to do this. So now it's asking me um, to sign in using my Apple ID. So I'm just gonna do that. And if Apple is going to give us this option to transfer it directly from our old phone to our new phone, it should work, right? And I just, I just cannot comprehend why it's just giving me the exact same page as before. At least it's moving forward. I guess that's a good start. I just terms and condition, um, agree, because honestly, nobody has the time to read those and I don't even know what's on there. And probably Apple says and how it's like listening to you and taking over your life because sometimes I'll pop about vacuum cleaners for about 10 minutes and I'll go on my Instagram and all my ads are like vacuum cleaners. I was like, well, what on earth is going on? It's because probably I agreed to one of those things over there and Apple can probably hear me um, shit talking them right now as, as we speak. Oh, so it does say uh, to enter my old password for my phone. So maybe it does work. I'm very confused now. I even googled what to do to fix this 
problem and it told me to check the Bluetooth is on and I did that for my old phone so I restarted and reset this this new 11 to see if that works still didn't work so now I've just given up and said oh, no I don't want to transfer any apps whilst I have backed up my um, 8 plus to a actual desktop that has enough memory I suppose keep your iPhone up to date uh, automatically security install updates automatically yeah why not uh, next one is location services um, I just want to tweak a little bit because I don't always want all my location services on but I will enable it for now at this point and see what happens you know I'm really excited to be honest maybe um, even though it's going circles I needed to click on that last bit about not transferring oh my god apple pay this is actually my life i don't know how i'll live without this because i don't carry my wallet around anymore when i go buy coffee or just running small errands and i need to you know use my card so i've got my cards here i won't show you too much uh so i'm just selecting all of them yeah I i'll always just take my phone because it's connected oh. I'm not wearing my Apple Watch now, but it is connected to my Apple Watch. So I'll just like tap and go. It's so convenient. And like, honestly, I don't see the point in carrying my wallet around anymore because I only need the card. I don't really need, I don't have cash or anything to carry around. And now it's telling me uh, I need to add the security code. I have my wallet here. This is the Gucci wallet. I wouldn't be able to tell you what the name is because I have no idea, but it is the little taupe one with a little gold buckle. And it just has that credit card. We just need to add the CVV at the back. That's one card done. And again, I need to accept Commonwealth Bank's terms and conditions. And now I need to add my ING. And I used to rave about ING because of all the good interest rate. But to be honest, it's not that great anymore. So I stopped raving about it. And again, we've got the terms and conditions that we will agree to, unfortunately, as long as it's not taking money away from my account. And now, I think it's just telling us how we can use Apple Pay. Oh yeah, I realized because I used to use Apple Pay um, by clicking twice on the home button, I realized there's no home button to click. So apparently now we just use the lock button and just double click that and it will appear as in the video here, or your card will appear if you double click the sign, that will appear. So that's pretty good and you can authenticate with your face ID and then you just pay. Next page, we've got Siri moving on. Um, yeah, sure, why not? So I need to improve dictation by saying, hey Siri, phone analytics. You can either share that with Apple to help improve its products and services. So yeah, all right, to help developers. So sure thing. And true tone display adapt to your environment by using ambient um, light conditions make the colors appear consistent see how it goes a lot more bluish there's a lot warmer tone and more relaxing for the eye and if I press that it goes a lot wider I reckon I'll keep that one on thank you next appearances so apparently get a light mode so that's what I'm actually used to and I can have a dark mode should I try something different yeah you know what I feel a bit be more cooler i'm gonna go with the dark mode and continue i'm pretty sure i can change it yeah, at a later date if i want to this is display zoom size of the apps so you can see the bigger notification I reckon i'm just going to go with the standard swipe up from the home button anytime that's just teaching us to swipe up because there's no more home button anymore i haven't owned a phone that has this but i have used um a couple other phones like my work phone used to have that function so I do know to instead of double clicking to see all your current running apps you just swipe up and hold so then you can have all the apps just running on the side like that and just I think it's just teaching us in case you don't have uh, like an iPhone X that had this function when it's first introduced so with our old phone here quick access used to be swiping up and with the new one instead of swiping up you're swiping down from the top right corner. I don't think it works yet because I haven't actually pulled this out of my phone. It's just teaching us. And it says, welcome to iPhone. So thank you, Apple. I actually really hope that it has all my apps because it keeps doing that circle thing. So swipe up. 
Did you just see that? It did literally nothing. But I thought if you connect them together that this one will have the old phones like background and pictures and everything. So I'm just clicked on photos. Well, that's a bit useless, literally. It says there is no photos, which means none of it transferred over, which also means I need to plug this into my computer to sync up everything that I had before, which is slightly annoying and I kind of thought that would happen. So let's just check messages. Apparently I've got Memoji stickers, whatever that is, and makeup and more to your Memoji. Improve search, meh, not that important, so continue. Oh yeah, so that's what the Memoji thing is. Apparently like you can make it sing, make it laugh, I can do all sorts of things, but um, I guess I'll do it. I'll do it a bit later. And obviously, my message is empty as well because nothing has transferred over. So I will have to go and connect this iPhone 11 back to my PC and get all that details synced up, and then I will be back. Alrighty, so I've completely given up, and I'm just going on my desktop to back it up, and it's telling me that I need to turn off. Uh, iCloud settings to in order to back up my restore from my 8 plus so I'm just gonna turn it off it's gonna ask for my password so I just turned off my find my iPhone and my restore is now in progress for my new phone this is after almost an hour and a half trying to figure it out I'm finally up to this spot where I am manually doing it so I've got about 18 minutes left so I'll check back with you a bit later while we're waiting I'm gonna cook some prawns because it is Christmas day. Please be the prawns. Ah, yes, I love. We've got Morton bug over here. Wow, so juicy. Just gonna cook that up while my iPhone is backing up. So our prawns are looking pretty good right now. Just put some salt and we're just boiling it. And putting some lemon on it afterwards. Morton bug steaming away, looking pretty good. Alrighty, so I believe it is done and it just says iTunes couldn't connect because it was locked I'm just gonna solve that problem. Oh my god, please Please, 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 please. God, I beg you. God, I beg you, please work Because I've exhausted all my options I'm so sorry for this um, ghetto setup, but my phone has finally finished syncing and I'm gonna see if it's a working Please, my god. It says, restore complete. I just need to put my Apple password in. Just be one second. Oh, please, 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 please. I'm actually so sick of setting up this iPhone because it's not going anywhere that I want it to. So while I'm waiting for that, if you guys have any suggestions for good protective cases that are kind of cute or cool, they can do like, sequency things, I don't know, something that's fancy and like unusual, please let me know down in the comment section below. And also if you've got an iPhone 11 or if you're getting a new phone for Christmas or like you just want a new phone or what color, please also let me know down in the comments below and we'll have a little chat. Oh my God, it's making me set Apple Pay up all over again. So I have reset up both my cards again. And now we're doing the Siri again, the light and dark. So I'll pick dark, um, go home, teaching us all that again, and swipe up. <gasps> you guys, it's oh my god, it's telling me to do all my email passwords. But you guys, look, my background is back, the same as my old phone here. Oh, okay, I'm gonna, just going to check the photos to see if they're all there. Okay, okay, I get it. <gasps> all my pictures are there. Oh, hallelujah, far out. That took literally more than two hours to do, but I have successfully backed up everything that's on my old phone to my new phone. Checking messages one more time. I don't want to do that. Set up later. Now, whatever, set up later. Oh my God, my text message is there. Oh, okay guys, I am so ecstatically happy that I don't even know how to express myself right now. I don't think Apple should have made it even this hard to begin with because I think there was a bit of Apple server problem and also 
um, connection problem with my internet so it's just like a whole um, mix of things that just kind of like made it really difficult for me to set up my phone but I believe everything is all set up now and oh I'm just so happy so I'm gonna go now thank you guys so much for watching and i um, sorry it's been so choppy because I was trying to work out everything but thank you for staying all the way to the end I love you guys a million times over and over again if you like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button to join my little YouTube family and I will see you all in my next video bye guys peace